The K-2 Black Panther main battle tank originated from the XK-2 program and emerged as a product of indigenous technology in South Korea. Its development commenced in 1995, with the initial prototype revealed in 2007. The tank underwent trials and evaluations, leading to the signing of a production contract for the first 100 K-2 tanks in 2014. By 2016, a batch of 100 tanks was reportedly delivered, and more were in production. The South Korean army initially aimed for around 300 of these tanks. The K-2 Black Panther was designed to complement the upgraded K-1 and K-1A1 main battle tanks already in service. In 2023, South Korea ordered an additional 200-plus tanks, while Poland became the first export customer, acquiring 980 K-2 tanks in 2022. The initial K-2 tanks arrived in Poland in the same year. Presently, the K-2 stands as one of the world's most advanced main battle tanks, surpassing those of North Korea and China in sophistication. Moreover, it holds the distinction of being the most expensive main battle tank to date, outdoing the Japanese Type 90 MBT. The K-2 employs a combination of modular composite armor and explosive reactive armor ERA, blocks. Its front armor is reputed to withstand direct hits from 120mm tank rounds fired from L-55 guns. The tank boasts an active protection system, countermeasure system, and NBC protection. In terms of protection, the K-2 bears similarities to the M1A2 Abrams MBT, despite being notably lighter. It's asserted that the K-2 surpasses the M1A2 Abrams in terms of superiority. Armed with a CN08 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, the K-2 features an automatic loader akin to the French Leclerc main battle tanks. This system, situated in the turret bustle, uses revolving mechanisms to automatically select and load the appropriate ammunition type, achieving a maximum fire rate of 15 rounds per minute. The tank's advanced fire control system allows it to engage both main battle tanks and low-flying helicopters with a maximum effective range of up to 10 kilometers. This system can autonomously identify, track, and fire at visible vehicle-sized targets without human intervention. The tank's 120mm gun is versatile, compatible with standard NATO tank rounds and the new KSTM, Korean Smart Top Attack Munition, rounds. These intelligent, target-activated fire and forget projectiles feature their guidance system, aided by stabilizing fins and a parachute for precise targeting. Additionally, the K-2 can launch KSTM munitions from cover, boasting a maximum effective range of 8 kilometers. Secondary armaments comprise a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a roof-mounted K6 12.7mm heavy machine gun, both with substantial ammunition loads. The K6 heavy machine gun includes an automatic friend or foe identification system. The K2's crew consists of three members, the commander, gunner, and driver. Additional features encompass a digital battlefield management system, navigation system, and a reporting mechanism that enhances situational awareness for friendly forces. Initially, the K-2 was equipped with the German MTU MB883 K501 diesel engine, generating 1,500 horsepower. This engine, produced under license in South Korea, powered the initial production tanks. However, reliability issues with indigenous SN Dynamics EST 15K transmissions led South Korea to acquire German rank transmissions for the first two batches. Subsequent batches used the South Korean Doosan Infracore DV 27K engines with rank transmissions. Eventually, the transmission issues were resolved, and the third batch featured indigenous DV 27K engines with SN Dynamics EST 15K transmissions. An auxiliary gas turbine power unit producing 400 horsepower serves to power onboard systems when the main engine is offline. The K2's advanced semi-active hydropneumatic suspension grants individual control of each bogey wheel, enabling the tank to adjust its stance in various directions for tactical advantages and easier maintenance. The K2 includes a deep wading kit, permitting water crossings of up to 4.2 meters. 
Notably, large engine mufflers were tested, reducing engine noise via two attachments at the rear of the hull. The price tag for the K2 tank stands at $7.5 million. It is available for export, and Turkey incorporated K2 subsystems into its Altai MBT. Variants of the K2 include the K600 armored engineer vehicle designed to clear minefields, the K2PL intended for the Polish military, with Poland ordering 980 tanks, the K2NO proposed for Norway, and the K2Me Middle East export version with augmented armor and a trophy active protection system.